Hey YouTube, it's Katrina. Welcome to day 66 of the orbit. I'm feeling a little better today. Um, yesterday, I could barely speak without <coughs> oh, without coughing. So I've been editing out like the coughing lately. And yesterday I was like, I think I should just not speak very much today. Today I'm going to review a novella. And then I'm going to just relax for a little bit. So, today is Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, and this is a novella, like I said, and I have reviewed another piece by John Steinbeck, The Pearl. This is different in theme, in like, what he's trying to say, of course. It's 103 pages long, and very simply putting the plot so that I don't ruin it. Two men, who's, um, their names are George Milton and Lenny Small. They're, you know, looking for work on a ranch during the Great Depression, and they end up near this town in California. And they are, you know, they want to be able to own their own land one day. So they dream about it, and they talk about what they're going to do on their farm, what they're going to grow and the animals that are going that they're going to raise they're they're like companions and George is like the smart one quick-witted and he gets mad at Lenny sometimes because Lenny this big guy which is his name is kind of ironic Lenny is not very intelligent and all he wants to do is you know pet things that are soft and he gets in trouble kind of easily for not realizing the consequences of his actions and George has to get him out of trouble all the time. And I think that's all I'm going to say about the plot for now. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Now, the themes that are in this book are companionship, which is very obvious because George and Lenny go together all over the place and at the same time loneliness even the town that they end up near its name is Soledad which means sol um, sol solitude <laughs> solitude in Spanish John Steinbeck is trying to say that loneliness comes about because people act inhumanely towards each other and he's also trying to say that you can dream but it is a truth, it's in your head. And you have to, you know, in order to accomplish your dreams, what has to happen in your real life has to, you know, enable you to accomplish your dream. Can you, is it possible to accomplish your dreams too if you can't change your, your own fate? Like how, how much control do you have with what goes on? It's a very good book, and it's widely contested, actually. American Library Associ Association often lists it as one of the most controversial books because of its language. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Oh, good. No, you look good. That's pretty much it, guys. I will see you tomorrow on day 67. If you've read Mice and Men, it's very possible because, at least in the United States, it's read in high school pretty often. If you've read it, or if you know some more about it, without ruining the book, let us know below your thoughts on it. Okay? Right, Bye. One more thing. I forgot. I said yesterday that I would say my awkward doctor's moment that happened yesterday. I had never been to an ear, nose, throat doctor before, and... So yesterday I went to one and he was a great doctor. He was so funny and really nice and helpful. But to see what was the matter with my throat, he had to take this thing. I have no idea what it's called. It's like a long thing with a light at the end and a camera. And it went up my nose and then down. <laughs> this is so gross. And then like, not through my cheek, but like if you can imagine it going down. 
and he looked at my vocal cords. So, um, <coughs> and he said that I don't have any nodules, which is good because, um, because I, I said like, oh, I sing, and he said, oh, you don't have any nodules. And nodules are these like little bumps that can happen on your on your um, vocal cords if you don't take care of them properly. It happens a lot to singers who just like abuse their vocal cords and don't warm them up. But yeah, that is my awkward <laughs> doctor's uh, office thing. <laughs>